Hey everyone, it's Steve Harris here with Muse Themes. Let's have a look at our new cookie notification bar widget. And what this allows you to do is on sites based in the European Union, you're required to alert users of your cookie usage. So if you're using a cookie for something like Google Analytics or some sort of e-commerce system, you need to make sure that users are aware of it and can actually accept the fact that these cookies are being placed on their computer. So you typically do this with some sort of notification bar pop up. So we built this widget that allows you to kind of simplify your notification system for these cookies. And as you can see here on this sample site, this is our venture template. We have this notification bar along the bottom and it says this website uses cookies. And then there's a link within the notification bar. And then of course we have a button that says accept cookies. And if we were to click that, then it would go away here. And depending on the settings of the widget, uh, you can actually have a reset cookies option appear once you've accepted or declined cookies. So let me go into Muse here and show you how to set up this widget. And there's our reset cookies option that just appeared. Okay, so if I jump back to Muse here, we'll go ahead and set this up from the start. So the first thing we need to do, as with all our widgets, is download the toolbox file and scroll down to number 40. That's the cookie notification bar. And just drag this out on the page. So once you do that, you get a little bit of a preview of how this bar will look and then you get a fairly substantial panel. The panel is actually really quick to set up because a lot of these things you can leave in their default state for your site. So I'll close this window so we have a little more room and I'll take you through the panel setup. With just the default settings on this widget, we dragged it and dropped it on the page. If I'm to preview it in the browser, you can see that we actually do get a bar along the top and this is what it looks like by default. So we've got a simple message with a link and then two buttons, accept and decline. We also have a close button over here that will just clear that notification if you're not interested in seeing it. So it works right out of the box, but let's go through all the setup options we have. We have two different bar styles in the file panel here. We have a full bar, which is what you saw. It's a full width, um, more substantial bar, or we can go to what we call the small bar. So if we click that, you can see that it just gives us a little preview here and it's really one line with a link to it. So from there we have bar positioning and if we were to leave the full bar set we could set it to the top or the bottom and with this bar you can set it to any of the corners. So let's go ahead and set this to the bottom right and our preview here is kind of lost but you don't need to actually put this in the bottom right of your site. If we preview it like this you'll see that the bar now is showing down here. So you don't need to actually position this bar in the correct spot in your design view. If anything, you can actually probably just drag it out off the canvas or just leave it off to the side somewhere so it's not really interfering with your design. But let's go ahead and change that back to the full bar and I'm gonna set that to the bottom. So this way it's going to kind of appear pinned to the bottom of our site. The next thing that we'll do is go through and set some of the style options. So these are pretty standard in all our widgets. We've got the bar color. Let's change this to blue. That'll be a bright blue. Now we have the bar opacity. So if you want to see the content on the site below the bar, we could set this below one, but I'm going to set it at one. That's basically 100% or solid. Now we have the bar size. This is an M's or the unit here is an M. So you can go up to two. Let's set it to 1.4. That should give us a good, fairly large bar, but nothing too dramatic. Now we've got the font right now set to open sans. That's fine. We'll set the font color. This is white and the font rollover color for our links. Orange isn't going to look very good on that blue. So let's set that to black. And of course we got our font size. Let's up that to 14. Okay. So the next thing that we have here is the setup of the actual buttons themselves. So we can turn on or off the accept, decline, or reset buttons as needed. I'm actually gonna turn off the decline button. Now we've got the text color. This is set to white. And now these colors and rollover colors are going to apply to all of the buttons. So we can set different colors for each of the buttons, but we're going to use the same text color for each. And we partly did this because we didn't really have enough room on this file panel to give styling controls for each button. But to be honest, the rollover and colors on all the buttons should be fairly consistent for the design to kind of work. So let's have a look at how this looks in its current state. We'll leave all the colors set uh, as they are right now and you can take a look. So we'll preview it. And when we preview in the browser, you can see that the bar is placed nicely on the bottom. 
and we're using this simple message which we'll change a little bit later on in our panel but we've also got the accept cookies button here and if we click accept then the reset cookies for this website option comes up so we'll go ahead and reset it so that when next time we look at it we can see the styling changes and we'll go back to Muse. So past this area, uh, we have our message set up. So on the bottom here is really where you're going to input your messages about the cookies you're using. So we've done or we've used the default cookie message. This is an option you have. And what this will do is just include our simple generic cookie message. That's the one that you just saw in the browser that says this site uses cookies. Click here to learn more. And that link that says click here to learn more is the URL for the default message. So just drop your link in here, it might be your privacy policy or something like that, and users can click and visit that link. Now if you want to use a little bit more of a custom message here, what you could do is select custom message from the message setup area, and now you can customize your message to say whatever you want. So this one says we use cookies just to track visits to our website, etc. Then below that we've got custom link text and custom link URL. I'll show you how these look. So let's take a look at this in the browser. And remember this is the custom message settings apply. So now we've got a message here. We've got our accept cookies button and then we've got the link beside it. So with this method you can actually kind of separate out your message from your link over here. So we'll go back to Muse and we could set up a unique link. This could say, instead of what are cookies, it could say something like learn more. And then we'd link to our privacy policy there. Of course, we can turn back on the decline button here too. And this is more what the complete full bar looks like. So one thing that's really nice about this widget that I thought Muse users especially would appreciate is it's actually responsive. So as you scale it down, it sizes to fit the browser and it does wrap nicely on the page. Now of course Muse doesn't support responsive design but it's nice to have this little widget kind of act that way. Okay so that's basically the setup for a cookie notification. The one thing that I did want to point out about this widget is that you don't need to use it just for cookies. So let's go ahead and let's just disable all of these buttons here. And let's get rid of our custom message here. I'll just delete it out. And now let's, for a custom link text, put in something like, we are having a sale. And then click here for your coupon code. And then you could include a link to your website, so, or your coupon code page. So let's go to museums.com, perfect. Now let me show you what this looks like. You can see if we remove any of the cookies widgets or the cookie buttons here, that we just have a simple notification with a link on it. So you can actually use this widget for more than just cookies. You can use it to promote sales or drive signups to your newsletter. It's really easy to just set up a simple message in here and set any link to it. And of course you can style it up to match as needed. So that's the new cookie notification widget. And please let us know if you have any questions or concerns working with this. But uh, thanks again. And this was a highly requested one for us. So I hope you enjoy. Cheers.